But most of all, I remember the people, the old men and women who welcomed us with smiles, and the children who made uh, a foreign child feel like a neighbor and a friend, and the teachers who helped me learn uh, about this country. Because Indonesia is made up of thousands of islands and hundreds of languages and people from scores of regions and ethnic groups. My time here helped me appreciate the common humanity of all people. And while my stepfather, like most Indonesians, was raised a Muslim, he firmly believed that all religions were worthy of respect. And in this way, In this way, he reflected the spirit of religious tolerance that is enshrined in Indonesia's constitution and that remains one of this country's defining and inspiring characteristics. Now, I stayed here for four years, a time that helped shape my childhood, a time that saw the birth of my wonderful sister, Maya, a time that made such an impression on my mother that she kept returning to Indonesia over the next 20 years to live and to work and to travel and to pursue her passion of promoting opportunity in Indonesia's villages, especially opportunity for women and for girls. And I was so honored. I was so honored when President Yudo Yono uh, last night at the state dinner presented an award uh, on behalf of my mother, uh, recognizing the work that she did. And, and she would have been so proud because uh, my mother held Indonesia and its people very close to her heart for her entire life. Now, so much has changed in the four decades since I boarded a plane to move back to Hawaii. If you ask me, uh, or any of my schoolmates who knew me back then, I don't think any of us could have anticipated that one day I would come back to Jakarta as the President of the United States. And, and few could have anticipated the remarkable story of Indonesia over these last four decades. The Jakarta that I once knew has grown into a teeming city of nearly 10 million, with skyscrapers that dwarf the Hotel Indonesia, and thriving centers of culture and of commerce. While my Indonesian friends and I used to run in fields with water buffalo and goats, a new generation of Indonesians is among the most wired in the world, connected through cell phones and social networks. And while Indonesia, as a young nation, focused inward, a growing Indonesia now plays a key role in the Asia-Pacific and in the global economy. Now, this change also extends to politics. When my stepfather was a boy, he watched his own father and older brother leave home to fight and die in the struggle for Indonesian independence. And I'm happy to be here on Heroes Day to honor the memory of so many Indonesians who have sacrificed on behalf of this